What's up guys? Back for another autocross. This will be the first autocross with the uh, EQT Turbo and I'm freaking pumped. Uh, we just got down here. We're actually having like a, a later in the day event. It's five o'clock now. Races start at six. We usually, we usually start at like one in the afternoon, I think. So we got a little bit of rain. It's sprinkling right now. Nothing crazy, but uh, it should pass before we even start. Today's course map, I'll put it up right here. It's a little confusing, but if you just look to the left, of the squiggles, that's the first lap, and then you come back around and you do the right side and you go back through the S, uh, back through the start. So, um, I'm gonna walk the track a couple times, got a lot of air pressure out, got to, I want to um, grab his jack and go minus on the, wow, my words. Turn down the dampening. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna turn down the dampening. It's set at 15, 15 with the BC coils. I'm gonna set it down to 10 because this is a lot of turnies. Give it a little bit more more grip. Uh, and this turbo acts totally the way the car drives is totally different now. Like the car used to spike up real high uh, for torque in the lower RPMs, and now it's you know my peak torque's way up top. So the car should uh, be a lot easier to tame on the track since the power is a lot more linear. I don't have to be on and off the throttle if it gives me too much torque in the middle of a turn because that, you know, it would spool at like 3,400 RPM and it would just want to go. And now it's like, you know, linear, more like a naturally aspirated car if you wanted to compare it to something. So, um, super pumped. I'm just super freaking pumped. These tires are, they be the, the first autocross event on these tires as well. Um, yeah, today will just be a lot of, a lot of data grabbing. A lot of learning. Um, just hope I can beat out this Honda again. <laughs> So I recently acquired a paint pen and I went around marked on the tires. Most tires, performance tires, they have this arrow here and you don't want to use anything below that arrow. So when you're in the corners and the tires rolling over and whatnot, you want to be able to keep track. But if you ever go over it once, then you'll never know again because you know it's already worn. So throw some paint on. There's arrows all over the place. I went and did that on every tire so I can keep track of um, where the tire is and tire pressure. So right now I have it set at 30. If I roll over, then I know, okay, don't go below 30 or whatever. Typically I have my best runs at like 28 pounds in the tires. So we'll see how it goes. At the, at the first lap, having 30 in, it's gonna get hot. So I'm gonna, the first couple laps, we're gonna have to let air out probably. So we'll see, we're here. There's a Miata over here with some titties on it. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Boosting Octane. We're going to turn it down a little bit. Shout out to Juice World. Been bumping his music recently. Definitely digging it. So we'll get in here. We're going to turn it down a little bit. I don't need a ridiculous amount of power. So we'll read. We have it set at 27, 93. So we're going to take a point of timing out and a pound of boost. That should be around 420 wheel, probably less with having less timing in it. Um, hit right, right settings, read settings, make sure it's set, boom. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna go do some practice runs. I walk the track, it seems pretty simple. Just a couple spots you gotta really remember to go through these certain gates. There's one gate that you go through like three times. You'll see. It's it's a little much, but I think after a couple practice laps, it'll be it'll be cake. All right, just did my first actual lap uh, without a pass, like their first time lap. Car feels really really good, like good power wise and everything. Um, I need to work. Like there is no with the IS38. Like if I was in second gear, say like 2,000 RPMs in Florida, like it would still it would give me like enough. With this turbo, it's not happening. I absolutely have to downshift, which is fine. I just need to work on me for that. Um, what else? 
the launch. Launch is not good. Uh, please don't make fun of me. The launch control is still set up from the last car, or from the last turbo, so uh, that needs to be adjusted. Once the intake manifold comes in this week and I switch that out, make sure everything's still Gucci, I'll hit up Frank and we'll, we'll start working on getting at like 15 pounds of boost off the line. Right now I think it's like at four, so I need to get it way up, way, way up, uh, get this car launching like it should be. But other than that, so far so good. I'm a second behind the fastest guy and I missed a shift and I, one of my down shifts were just not good. So four more laps to go and get some, some footage of cars and I'll get somebody in here for a lap, get it like an actual in-car shot and hopefully don't forget to turn the GoPro on. So far so great. Took a whole second off my time. This is gonna be the third lap. My boy Joe came down to, to watch us and he's gonna do an in-car video. And then I'll have two more laps after that to go. Uh, Roy is beating me right now. I'm at one flat or like one minute point, like 59 milliseconds and he's at 59.11. So he's a little over a second ahead of me. Hopefully I can make it up. That launch control still yeah. issue? Because it's still set up for the old turbo. Are you ready? Was lap number three i still haven't broke into under a minute um i also had a passenger i typically don't do very well with passengers but i want to get you guys an in-car video and i'm going to turn the boost back up now that i'm comfortable with the car i got my shifting points down um make sure this saved boom back up to 27 and the timing's where it needs to be Whew, what a day i'm glad we did this in the afternoon too I'm, I'm still kind of sweating kind of hot sun's on its way down you got two more laps to go and an hour and a half drive back and then I got to go to work at midnight tonight and still edit this video for you guys to see in the morning so whew, it's been a day I'm gonna try and get some clips of some other cars real quick get the GTR and the Honda the MR2 throw a couple clips in there I'll probably do that right now and then uh, throw the rest of mine I'll get some GoPro stuff I won't forget now <laughs> and uh, maybe get one more from the outside but yeah cars turn back up shifting points are down just need to, to have at it.
Well, that fourth run was my best run. I broke in to the 59s like I wanted to. One more lap, I think I could have got got Roy, but he's he's got me. I'm done. Um, I thought I broke my trans going from first to second through the finish line there. It did not go in the second. It did not want to go in the fourth or sixth. So two, four, six right now. It's not having it. One, three, five is fine. Um, pulled off the intake, looked in there. It looks like the threads pulled out of the Diesel Geek short shifter, which I've never had happen like that. I mean, I was, I was banging gears pretty good. So I'm going to have to sacrifice my fifth lap and try and get in here real quick and adjust the shifter. Um, I, can, I can get it in the gear, but it's like a pain in the ass. It's like bowling for soup to try and find second, and fourth, and sixth. So I'm going to adjust this real quick, just enough to get be better to get me home. But damn, it kind of blows. I'll have to show you guys. I'm going to pull the intake off and, and try and fix it real quick. You can record me if you want. Just hit that red button. It's all. I don't know how he's gonna work on this thing. It's hot. And it's very hot. He spun out. He's been ripping that e-brake all day. So you guys can't really see, but on this this one, and yeah, now you can see way back there that there's mad thread sticking out, and the boot for it's sticking way back too. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be up a lot more. And if you definitely can't see, but in the crack here of the shifter, you can go down and see, and there's only threads up to the first bolt. So I'm gonna try and adjust it, pull it up some. It's very hot. Very, very hot. All right, we're home. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I only have like maybe half an hour to adjust these. So I'm gonna go in, do what I think is right, adjust it once. If it's worse, I'll adjust it back and then just wait for the morning. Hopefully I can make some progress. I don't remember how much I said earlier, but I, I, obviously I made it home safe. Um, I can get in a second, I can get into all my gears. Just two, four, and six are like further back than what they used to be. And like, it's kind of, it's not necessarily hard to get into them, but it's just to find them. It's not, it's not easy. Um, there's no gear grinding, there's no noises, there's no smells, no leaks of fluid, nothing. It's just, I really think the thread's pulled in that short shifter. So I'm gonna tear into it. I only got, like I said, like a half hour and I gotta change, wash my face, freaking throw my steel toes on and head in. Well guys, I went to adjust this one and it was like the tightest thing ever. I about stripped out one of the screws trying to undo it and I, it kind of made me feel, I was like, this thing is so damn tight. There's no way that these threads could skip through there. So I take a look back so I can get the camera in there. So on the left one, you can kind of see the markings there where there's supposed to be. Let me, let me just zoom in here for you. There's supposed to be a clip there. I actually pulled the rest of the boot forward, but there's supposed to be a clip to hold that there. Like the thick rubber part you see that doesn't have the lines was pushed all the way back. Um, that's not good. So the clip's missing. You can see the clip on the other one and it's holding that rubber piece forward. That's supposed to be there. This one doesn't have it. I can't find it in the bay. Um, good thing just about every manual Volkswagen, at least from, I'd say from Mark III up, uses the same bracket and the same clips. So I'm going to try to go to the junkyard tomorrow. Hopefully there's one there. If not, um, I'll probably put it in order with Shop Doc anyway just to get him. I'm going to shoot him a message as soon as I get to work. But uh, yeah, now I hope I didn't screw up the threads on this one. Uh, the threads meaning like the adjustment of how far it goes into this because just one simple thread, it, it'll screw up your whole your whole thing. A lot of people complain about the Diesel Geek short shifter saying it's junk, blah, blah, blah. It's because you didn't adjust it right. If you spend enough time uh, adjusting these cables, it will be perfect. It'll be the best shifter you've ever felt in a Volkswagen ever, next to probably like the CAE stuff. But uh, I know I adjusted this one, the right side one you're looking at quite a bit. So I'm gonna loosen that up, put it back to about where I remember where it was and just call it good from there. Um, Cause at the very moment, I don't have reverse. So maybe with me pulling that forward, I'll be able to snap it in reverse real quick. That way I can get out of my driveway. Otherwise I'm gonna have to push it so I can get to work. But 
I need to adjust this real quick. I only got like 15 minutes, so I gotta leave for work. But thankfully, I found out what it was. And like I said, I didn't get to do my last run. Roy wound up running like a 58 something. That's that white Honda. Um, he's crazy in that car. Uh, I need to come back and kick his butt. I did break in to the under a minute. It was 59 something. I didn't even look. I have to wait till they see times posted. I was dicking around with the car, trying to get everything worked out. But now I know. Uh, I need to get this done. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know how clicky of a clickbait title I'm going to make this, but I'm going to go to work, do what I need to do at work. I'm going to bring my laptop, try and edit this there, get this done, uh, find out where I can get these clips immediately. And uh, yeah, but Frank's work with the tuning, EQT with the turbo, racing line with all their stuff on the car, the catch can, precision race works, their shit's working out good. My new manifolds will be here this week. Um, yeah, car's running great and we're going out to Denver. We're leaving for Denver Friday morning to go to uh, Streetcar Takeover and all that. So if you guys are anywhere near Denver, Colorado Springs, any of that, you should definitely go up to that event. It's awesome. I'll be there. Um, I'll bring some pop sockets. You guys should buy my pop sockets. I need to get rid of these mother freaking things so I can make shirts. Um, anyway, if you made it to the end, thank you. Uh, Joe, if you're watching this, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you. I haven't seen you in a minute. And uh, that's all I got. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.